Salumea, and this is Eye on the Eagles, your comprehensive coverage of American University athletics. In today's show, two new faces are inducted into the Stafford H. Pop Cassell Hall of Fame. The Spirit Program travels to Daytona for the NCA and NDA championships, and Morgan Hendricks talks fashion at the Student Athlete Banquet. But first, women's basketball guard Jen Dumiak prepares for the second round of her internship at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab with women's basketball class of 1986 alumna Hillary Hershey. Internship was with Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab. It's out in Laurel, Maryland. Um, our alumni Hillary Hershey actually set me up with it. Um, I'm, she and her partner Nikki come around every year, I guess, for they watch a practice and they bring goodie bags at the beginning of the season. And she told everyone what she did in college and where she worked. And I kind of afterwards introduced myself and asked if she could possibly help me find an internship because I was looking. And uh, I just kept in contact with her and she really helped me out a lot. The whole thing started when sort of every year um, we go down usually around alumni weekend to meet the team as they're starting practice for the season and part of that is to reconnect with the returning players and then meet all the new freshmen and um, kind of just to spend I don't know 10 or 15 minutes with them um, just talking and one of the things that I always remind them of is if any of you guys are math majors, physics majors, uh, something related, we do internships in the summer. We usually, as a laboratory, hire a couple hundred interns. Um, I have a hand in hand picking some of those if you are of the right background and your interests line up. Um, if you're interested in that, get in touch with me and we'll see if we can make some kind of a match and possibly get you a spot for the summer. Um, well, last summer was kind of just getting my foot in the door and seeing if I liked what I would have been doing there. I did a lot of probability and statistical analysis on different data and uh, a lot of the other people did more technical stuff. The department I worked in was undersea warfare, so they do a lot of stuff for the Navy and uh, the Army. Um, and so a lot of people did cooler projects than what I did basically, but uh, this summer I'm going to go back and do more technical stuff. I'm not sure of the exact project, but it's just great experience. It's a great workplace. The people there are amazing. They really want to help you learn and get better, and it, it was just a great experience. That's pretty much why I want to go back. I would say most of the hires we make of our new grads, whether that's bachelors or masters or even PhDs, they all have work experience. Um, from most of the time it's from their summers, but we tend not to look at them if they don't. So it's, it's huge and you add work experience with being a D1 athlete and that really moves you to the top of that pile. I think keeping that connection to the athletic department to me has always been important because I feel like the education I got at AU and a lot of the things that I learned from playing sports and particularly women's basketball at AU really has set me up for a lot of the success I had in my career and just in life in general. She comes, she comes to a lot of games. They drove up to Army when we played at Army in the semifinals um, and they're just, she's a very dedicated fan and it's, it's nice having her around and seeing her face after games. Stay tuned to Eye on the Eagles as volleyball senior Morgan Hendricks talks style at the Student Athlete Banquet. Hello everyone and welcome to the American University Athletic Banquet 2014. I'm Morgan Hendricks and I'm going to be helping you find all the fun and awesomeness that is tonight. Morgan, you had a great year with the volleyball team, not that I really know from first-hand experience or anything, but um, what was your really, you know, big moment of 2013, 2014, and what are you ready for this next next go around, next season? The big moment was obviously beating Duke. It had been winning the Patriot League Championship um, and having all our fans storm the court. That was that was a pri priceless moment for me. Probably winning the Patriot League Championship, beating BU in the final 3-0. 
and a close second would be beating UConn uh, when they were number two in the country, 4-3 at home, and they went on to win the national championship, so it proved our team was pretty solid. Yeah, it's always fun to beat somebody that's ranked up there, and you're just like, yeah, we knocked that number off. What? So, big question of the night, what are you wearing in your hair tonight? It's all natural. It's all natural. This is a, you've heard it here. I am Morgan Hendricks, and it's going to be a great night. Just you, Wade. Now, if his first season is any indication for our next speaker, the Eagles are in for years of success. After three Patriot League championships, a pair of stellar hires for basketball head coaches, and a number of academic honors, our athletics director will have quite an act to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, AU's Director of Athletics and Recreation, Dr. Billy Walker. You're a rare group of student athletes that understand athletics is just one component of a comprehensive program towards higher education. You will go on from here and you will lead and you will continue to excel. I'm also extremely proud that you took my challenge to get to get out into the at-risk communities of Washington, D.C. and serve as mentors and role models. We know from long experience that our student athletes go on from this place to do wonderful things in their communities, in their careers, for their families, and in their lives. It's been a fun year and a successful year. I can't tell you how proud I am and impressed of all of you in this room. I'm truly honored to be your athletic director so let's share that American dream and go Eagles. An Eagles volleyball team that finished the year ranked 19th in the nation after advancing to the NCAA round of 16 is an outside hitter from Hacienda Heights, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 outstanding female student athlete is Julie Crum. From our Patriot League champion men's basketball team is another outstanding male student athlete for 2014 a center from Harbor City, California, Tony Roblicki. You're watching Eye on the Eagles, American University's in-house production of all things AU Athletics. Let's check out our newest inductees into the Stafford H. Pop Cassell Hall of Fame at American University. Men's Soccer Class of 1999 member Avery John and Golf Class of 1971 standout James Monkman. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the 2014 Stafford H. Pop Cassell Hall of Fame induction ceremony. My name is David Aldridge. I will be your master of ceremonies this evening. Thank you all for coming on such a lovely afternoon to honor our two newest inductees into the Hall of Fame, golfer James Monkman and men's soccer alumnus Avery John. Our first honoree is being inducted posthumously. James Monkman was one of the most accomplished golfers ever to represent American University, earning a pair of individual titles in the Mid-Athletic Conference. To tell you more about him, please join me in welcoming his sister, Cindy Hatcher. Well, both my brother Rick and I are very honored to be here on Jimmy's behalf, and we really thank American for this honor. He was sadly struck by cancer in his late 50s, and we lost him at age 59. He was very courageous throughout that battle. I'd like to turn things over to Rick, and I want to thank you all again very much. I'd also like to thank everybody. Um, we wouldn't have missed this for the world. Uh, Jimmy would have loved to have been here. Um, he loved you know, his years here at American University, and uh, uh, he was certainly proud uh, to play for the team and you know, proud of his accomplishments, but also proud of, proud of his teammates. Thank you very much. Having played golf uh, with Jimmy so much uh, and knowing how he hit the ball really was a benefit for me caddying for him. I'm not sure what my brother uh, Rick would say, but I think he would say that that Jimmy was the best golfer in the family. We were neck and neck, but I, I think that he was definitely better. For Rick, my brother Rick and myself, to be able to be here and to know how well Jimmy was thought of in terms of his golf performance at American University, it's, it, it's a wonderful honor. 
Our next honoree is one of the most decorated student athletes ever to play in one of our most celebrated sports programs at American. During his stellar soccer career, he has excelled on the collegiate, professional, and international stages. To introduce our next member of the induction class of 2014, please welcome back Coach Bob Jenkins. In talking about all these different guys, um, Scott Pearson a couple years ago, and then Steven Fransky last year, and Avery, it's all from the same team. This was an extraordinary group of guys. He had a lot of confidence in himself as a player. He had the um, athletic and um, mental ability to back that up. Um, and I think that, again, talking about how we got to a certain point in 97, without Avery back there, there's no way we could have gotten where we, we got. It's an honor for me. He's a wonderful guy. He's a wonderful person. He's got a very lovely family. And um, these, are, these are fun days for me. Thank you all for being here for this moment. Um, it's a very rare, prestigious award for, for one, for someone. When I, when I stand up and people ask me, where did I go to? And I say, AU. And they say, the AU? Be like, no other. Like, it's just that that makes you proud that everybody everybody knows what you stand for, everything that you accomplish. And I'm really, really happy to be proud of that, to be part of it. Thank you very much for taking the opportunity, um, the selection committee for being part of the lights, the legends who are here, my friends and my family. Thank you all very much. You know, hope you have a wonderful evening. What he did as a player and how he, uh, you know, how he influenced the game himself, but how he influenced the rest of the team and allowed us to play a certain way, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do if he was not there. Um, so that's, and that's just American. Then he, he's a guy that moved on and represented Trinidad in the World Cup, which for, for a soccer guy, that's, that's the ultimate. Growing up, you, you see the World Cup. You never thought you were going to be there. And then you are actually in it. I mean, what kind of experience is that? Like, I was part of that team that created history for Trinidad and Tobago. I have accomplished what I set out for. First thing first was academics, get your degree. Anything else is after. And especially being here now, you know, it just, it just kind of compound everything. You see everybody, you see all the legends, and, and you're part of that now, right now for all the success you did on and off the field. The cheer and dance teams at AU put the finishing touches on their seasons at the NCA and NDA Collegiate Cheer and Dance Competitions in Daytona, Florida. Michael Gardner has more. Back here on Eye on the Eagles, Mike Gardner live from the Spirit Banquet as we toast a successful season of the AU cheer and dance team as they return from national competition down in Daytona Beach, Florida. This year we went down to Daytona Beach and performed twice on Thursday and we ended up coming in top 15 in the nation. So it was an exciting performance and we're really excited to improve upon that next year. They did a great job. They went out and they just did the best they can. You know, we had a couple of falls, but I mean, this cheerleading, you never really know when it's going to hit perfectly. But um, I think that they went out and they gave it everything that they could, so I couldn't really ask for much more as a coach. I think Nationals went really well. Um, we scored our highest score ever. We got a 9.2 in our Jazz routine this year. Um, we've consistently gotten like in the 8.6, 8.9 range, so that was so exciting to go out there and get above a 9. Um, the competition was really, really tough this year, um, but it doesn't take anything away from our season because it was an amazing season. Um, the trip itself was just such a great learning experience and uh, we had a great time. I thought that they, they couldn't have done anything more and I'm very proud of them. Oh, yeah. 
Eye on the Eagles field reporter Michael Gardner stepped onto the track to talk to AU's head coach Matt Centrowitz to find out more about the outdoor season. Great, we had a uh, wonderful school record-breaking 4 by 800 meter relay this spring. They did the best they could, and we're very proud of them to set a school record and finish us such a high note with two seniors, and then we have a freshman and sophomore on it. So the future is bright. And uh, we're excited to welcome a bunch of uh, new freshmen next fall, as well as returnees coming. We have plenty of returnees coming back and excited for the cross country season. We're very excited for John, John Pope to get another award. There's nothing new around here. He's a good as a student athlete, he's also a better person and a class act. And we're sorry to see him leave, but we wish him the best. He made lots and lots of contributions on and off the track. We had a rough season, but coming out with one win for the Patriot League was huge for us, and especially being able to end my senior season with a, with a big W is really nice. Yeah, you know, they, they did an incredible job in all season, and you know, it's, it's been a tough year for us um, as a program, and I, you know, I couldn't be prouder of the way that they've shown up every single day to work and get better, and I think this end game has been a true testament to their effort all season. Um, you know, we're, we're going to miss them tremendously, you know, Al, Al up top in the attack, and player you know who unfortunately went down with a knee injury and then Ben and Nicole holding us back in the defense so and, and then obviously Ashley who really stepped up big for us this year with you know such little lacrosse experience at the collegiate level so you know a really great note to send them out on. Michael sat down with first year head basketball coaches Megan Jebbia and Mike Brennan and with the man who hired them first year athletic director Dr. Billy Walker to discuss challenges successes and first year learning curves. Hi, my name is Mike Gardner and welcome to a special roundtable discussion with head coaches Mike Brennan and Megan Jebbia and Director of Athletics Dr. Billy Walker. Hey Mike, Megan, um, like me being a first year uh, athletic director, both of you are first year head coaches and not just here at American but as head coaches period. Um, I know I experienced a lot of things that uh, either surprised me or didn't surprise me that I thought would surprise me. Um, what what kind of, of, of things did, did you see as head coach uh, in your respective programs this year that uh, may have taken you off guard? You can start. Wow. <laughs> I've, I've been asked that before, and to be honest, I would, you know, there, there wasn't a ton of surprises. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, our, our guys, just the way they um, sort of responded to everything that we asked of them all year long was um, surprising because normally you don't get a group, you know, the, the type of the, the group that we had this year was phenomenal and you know just um, be, not not just simply being on time but at doing every single thing that you asked of them um, and it started you know we had great leadership and John Schof you know he has that mindset where you know you, you tell him to do something once and he does it and Pee Wee you know is a terrific leader and Tony our senior uh, was great all year so just um, the the type of group that we had this year was was a surprise to me. It was a special sort of occasion, Coach Brendan, because you were Dr. Walker's first hire. What were those first few days like, knowing that you're inheriting a program? Um, I saw in my notes here, it said the hot seat. It was, it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, I, th I mean, I was just uh, so excited about the opportunity. And I think that, you know, throughout the interview process, I mean, I, you know, I, th I think we, we hit it off pretty well, uh, Dr. Walker and I. And I think he saw, you know, just the way we were interacting that I really believed everything that I was saying. I wasn't necessarily just trying to get the job. I really, you know, thought and I know that this, you know, university is a special place. You know, we can attract talent from all over, all over the world, to be honest, we have in the past. Um, and you can, you know, be consistently good and go, hopefully go to the NCAA tournament, you know, multiple times is the goal. Uh, and I think this is a place where you can do that. A little different, I think, just because everything was moving so fast. Uh, I had to hire my staff in September, so by the time the first game came around, it was like, oh my gosh, it's here. I didn't have time to think about it. Um, but I enjoyed going to games, going to the men's games, watching my coach and have his hands in his pockets and you know, trying not to yell at the officials. And I kind of laugh because I don't have pockets. I'm usually wearing a skirt. So it was hard for me to, to control my hands because um, I'm Italian, so that makes it really hard. But um, nevertheless, it was, it was a, a, a great time. I really enjoyed it. Um, kind of being in control for the first time and feeling yeah of course I had pregame jitters the first the first time out but same time once the ball's thrown up and, and the game's going you really don't think about that you're thinking about your game plan and stuff like that so I really enjoyed it. 
<laughs> if today was your first day on the job. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, would, would you tell the team anything differently? I don't think I would tell them anything differently. I feel like I said the things that I needed to say initially, but you should, kind of... Hold on, should I cut <laughs> you off because if your answer is really good, <laughs> right. well, we have to do it again, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, but you kind of alluded to this earlier about um, getting to know your players. I feel like because of the time of year uh, that I came in, I don't feel like I got a chance to know them well enough and really bond with them. Um, just because I was getting my staff there, once you're in, you're trying to recruit, you're trying to do everything all at one time. And I just wish I had more time with them. And we're trying to do a better job in the postseason of getting to know them. I think that just helps. I think you saw it with your guys this year. Um, just help, you know, having, I guess, April and the summer to, to talk, sit down with them, have them believe in you and really get to know you and like you. And I think that's important when you go into a season is having their trust. Yeah. Dr. Walker, when all this was going on, what was the buzz like in the office considering that both basketball programs had risen to the top of the conference? Oh, it was great. It was great. Not just the office, but around campus. I think you probably felt that too. Um, yeah, it was exciting. There, there was no doubt about it. Uh, um, you know, at games, um, I'm kind of a mess personally, but uh, <laughs> it, uh, but the, it, it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was really fun. I mean, I think uh, you, you talk to the people in the department, um, and I think everybody really uh, felt like part of the team. Like I said, we started out really well in the fall with some, a lot of success with, uh, with you know, volleyball and field hockey and then built right into basketball with a lot of success. And that really got, I think, uh, everyone in the department to really feel like you know, they were part of the team. We made sure that everyone understands their specific role, you know, that they're one cog in the wheel of why we're successful and uh, you know, that everybody's, everybody has a hand in this success and, and that really helped, I think. Thanks again for joining us in this special roundtable discussion, and good luck to all of you as you enter your second season. Back to you, Lisa. To watch more of the roundtable discussion, log on to auEagles.com. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Eye on the Eagles. Thanks for watching, and be sure to catch us in the fall on Comcast Sportsnet. I'm Lisa Lumea, and from all of us at AU Athletics, thanks for tuning in.